The Making of Dune 1984. I want to watch this video with you because it is so creative. This video was put together. We're going to watch it. It's five minutes. We might pause it in between here. But this is a video that was put together by a friend of mine named Damon Packard. Subscribe to his channel. We'll put a link to this video and a link to his channel in the description. But here this is a, I mean, I'm going to, I got to hang on, hang on. I got to say a little, got to share the audio here and whatnot. It is a visit to the 1984 Dune set. This is fake and all created with AI, but it's so incredibly creative and weird that I want to share it with you. So I'm going to go full screen on it. I'm going to mute myself or Alan, if you could mute myself, yeah. I want to share this with everybody. We're going to watch this video together because I just think it's so cool and it shows the potential of AI. This is AI now. Where is AI going to be in five years? And Damon Packard, look him up. He is an underground filmmaker that I have covered for years. Um, he, we've covered him so much in, um, in film threat. If you look up Damon Packard, um, he has done some incredible movies, including a movie recent, more recently Fox fur. He did a film called reflections of evil. And then he's done a lot of these bizarre experiments. One of my favorites space disco one. It's just weird. He tends to put himself in this, his movies and, uh, I really love Damon. We did an interview with him on the show. We got to have him back. But this thing that he created is something really special. We're going to watch it together. Alan, are you ready? Yeah. Let's go. Okay. Here it is. A visit to the Dune set 1984. Director David gotta, Lynch is the new kid on the... You got to share the screen. Hot on the heels of a racer head. He is commanding... He is commanding a okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. Alan, no. you have control too. I know. It's just... Okay, so help me out. Share screen. Is it yes, shared? I just did. Do you not see it? All right, here we go. Oh. Director David Lynch is the new kid on the block. Hot on the heels of a racer head, he is commanding a $40 million science fiction epic for the screen. I think we can get away with this with the weather the way it is now. David's bizarre, unique vision brings this classic novel to life for a whole new generation of fans. John, I want to have a uh, private discussion with Sean later. She's been showing up drunk again to the set. I mean, I don't mind her drunk, but please not when she shows up to work. He commands his cast and crew effortlessly in the scorching hot desert in the Liwa Oasis region of Ahu, Dubai, on the southern border of Saudi Arabia. Basically, way the hell out in the middle of nowhere. A place most people don't know about or would want to visit. We're all going to die of heat stroke out here. Actress Sean Young, who plays Chani, has been drinking three gallons of wild turkey and whiskey every day on the set until she passes out. Her drinking problems cast a strain on the production crew. We don't know how she got this much alcohol out here. It's strictly forbidden in this region, and they don't really sell it anywhere in Ahu, Dubai. The weather, food, water, and accommodations are horrible, but this production has a job to do, and David Lynch is the man to do it.
first by will alone I set my mind in motion. It is by the juice of Sapu that finds a course. Fire speed, the lips of fire stains, the stains become a warning. It is by will alone I set my mind in motion. It is by will alone I set my mind in motion. It is by the juice of Sapu that thoughts acquire speed. The lips acquire stains. The stains become a warning. It is by will alone I set my mind in motion. It is by will alone I set my mind in motion. It is by the juice of Sapu that thoughts acquire speed. The lips acquire stains. The stains become a warning. It is by will alone I set my mind in motion. In this time, the most precious substance in the universe is the spice melange. The spice extends life. The spice expands consciousness. A product of the spice, the red sappho juice stains the lips of the mentats, but allows them to be human computers, as thinking machines have been outlawed. The spice is vital to space travel. The spacing guild and its navigators, who the spice has mutated over 4,000 years, use the orange spice gas, which gives them the ability to fold space. That is, travel to any part of the universe without moving. And there you go. Um... There you go. I I love that. I I love it. 